So God's happy to share information on any subject, scientific subjects, um, worldly subjects, personality, sub, you know, personal interrelation subjects, whatever you can think of, God's very happy to share with you because God's desire for you is to have as much information at your disposal as you can possibly have. So that's, that's wonderful, isn't it, really? You, you think of a, a good parent would do that, wouldn't they? And let, have, a, have a feeling that they wanted to share with you as much information that can assist your life as they possibly could. So this operation of this conscience is very simple, and, and all you really need to do is exercise a sincere, and this is the tricky part, a sincere... Desire to know God's truth on whatever the subject is. Now, some answers are so uh, difficult for God to share because our development precludes us from receiving an answer. So an example of that is, let's say you wanted to know what the structure of the universe was. It's a valid question, right? You could, men and humans have been uh, trying to discover that for centuries, right? Millennia, actually. And so let's say you wanted to know. Now, God can share that with you, but you need a certain amount of development in love because the universe is structured around love. You need a certain amount of development in love to understand it. And the trouble is, to understand it more, you need more love. And when I say the trouble is, it means that the less love you actually have, the harder it's going to be to understand the answers. So God also tries to share the truth with you commensurate or in balance with how much love you have. So a simple thing like this is possible. Remember on Friday we had the uh, question, we started with the question, does God exist or is God real? Well, we can ask God whether God exists. But I need a certain amount of openness in my soul to receive the answer, don't I? Right? Because my soul, as we pointed out Saturday, has a soul, whole set of emotions. And in those emotions, if I've got an emotion, if I don't want there to be a God, then it's going to be very hard for God to say, yes, I exist to you, because emotionally you're going to be going, oh, but I don't want him to exist. So this is what I mean by a sincere desire. It has to be a real, pure desire to know, not one It's like I want, to, I want to ask because it will prove my idea right. You understand the difference? We're not asking so that we can prove that we're right. We're asking what is right, which is a very different thing. Many of us, when we ask questions, and you've even noticed that perhaps in this conversation we've had with you the last three days, many of you, when you ask questions, you're asking a question because you want to prove you're right. And that's not a question. That's not a sincere question. A sincere question is, what is right? I want to know what is right. So developing sincerity is the key to the receiving answers through the operation of the conscience. As soon as you develop a proper sincerity, you will receive instant answers on any subject, as long as you have the proper level of sincerity about that subject. All right? And it doesn't matter what subject, like I said, science or otherwise. Now, of course... If you don't have a certain level of development to understand the subject, then, of course, the, there's going to be a limited amount of information that can be shared. So let's say you're asking a question that's about uh, has a complex physics answer and you've had no experience of physics your entire life, then it would make sense that there's a limited amount of information God can share with you on that subject, particularly if you're not in the development of love where you're open enough to understand complicated physics. You follow? So there are limitations on the operation of the conscience that we ourselves put on it. From God's perspective, God wants to share everything. 
our capacity, just like any child who develop, who's developing, our capacity to receive the answer is going to be different depending on our development. So it's like if you imagine like a two-year-old asks questions about if they can, they can speak by now, right? And they ask a question like, where did I come from? Now, the answer you would give the two-year-old as to where they came from would have to be a lot more simple, wouldn't it, because of the development of their brain and their development of their ideas and their understanding of language. is going to be a very different answer. You could give them the fundamental basics of an answer, like out of mum's tummy might be an answer, and you might give in that place. But, you know, then you could say, but your soul... And if, if you could explain what a soul is, you might have to get it out on a picture on the diagram and what you, and you might have to say, here's your bodies and draw pictures and here's what your soul is. That soul came from God. So you could explain all that to a two or three-year-old, you could, but you'd have to do it in a very, very basic manner, wouldn't you, in terms of the language they have and the development they have and their understanding. Now, when that two-year-old is now 14 years old, can you see, you can share a lot more information about it, can't you now, with them? Because by now they've learned about sexual organs and they've learned about how the, you, can, you can be a lot more complicated. Oh, this particular body, the physical one, came from this process. This spirit body came from this process. And still the soul came from this process. And you can share more information because the development of the child is greater and therefore the child is able to receive that information. <clears throat> so you can see... As a parent, you can share information, but you have to sort of wait to a degree for the development of the child, for the child to understand the information you're sharing. And God does the same thing with you. So God's, God can't share with you things that God knows are way beyond your capacity to understand. He can only share with you the things that you have a sincere desire to know and that are within the limits of your capacity to understand. Everyone under get that? So it's important to know that's a limitation, you could say, of not the conscience mechanism, but it's a limitation of our development. And when I say development, I mean not only our development in love or truth or any of those qualities, but also our maturity, our development in terms of our lifespan and our development in terms of our experience. All of those things are a part of our development. So this soul... And you can see if we're talking about the two halves, the development of each half may be different, mightn't it, at any one point in time. So let, let's say uh, the male here, he has, he has grown up in an environment where mum, mummy nursed him until he was 20 and she's still cooking for him at 20 and still cleaning up after him at 20 and, she, and he basically is re still reliant on mummy. You know, he lives at home still and he hasn't matured very well. And then on the female side, she may, might have left home when she was 16. She's looking after herself, cleaning up after herself, you know, preparing her own meals and washing up after herself. Now, obviously, she's more developed than he is. Can you see? In terms of self-responsibility, self-love. And so she will be more open to receiving the truth from God than he will be, particularly about issues of self-love. All right? So it's going to be, be dependent upon the individual development and the individual's growth development as to how much information can be received. But that, bearing that in mind as a, as a just something to keep in mind, um, you still have the operation of the conscience and you can ask any question you like. Now, what I personally like doing is asking yes or no questions. <laughs> and the reason why I like doing that is because where possible... If I can ask a yes or no question, God can make the answer very, very clear, yes or no. But when you ask more complicated questions, then obviously packets of information have to be received, and that is going to be very dependent, isn't it, on your openness to receiving that information. 